Perform hand hygiene, ensure patient privacy, and introduce yourself to the patient. Good morning, Mr. Jankowski. How are you? Fine. Good. My name is Cindy. I'm going to be your nurse today. We're going to check your orders and I'll be right back. Okay. Before you apply a restraint, check the healthcare provider's order. Determine whether a signed consent document is necessary. Next, in accordance with your agency's policy, identify the patient using two identifiers. I need to check your identification. May I see your right arm? Can you tell me your name, please? Carl Jankowski. Okay, Explain Carl. to the patient hey, and his family why his health care provider has prescribed the restraint. The physician has ordered a restraint for you. You had surgery yesterday on your ankle and you've been attempting to get out of bed. So we want to keep you safe. So we're going to be applying a restraint, okay? Okay. All right. Adjust the bed to the proper height and lower the rail closest to you. Make sure the patient is comfortable and correctly positioned. Inspect the area to which the restraint will be applied. Note any tubes or devices and assess the patient's skin integrity, sensation, circulation, and range of motion. If necessary, pad the patient's skin and any bony prominences that will be covered by the restraint. Are you having any tenderness or pain in this area? No. Okay, very good. We've got our restraint here. To apply a belt restraint, help the patient into a sitting position in the bed. Place the belt over his hospital gown or pajamas and make sure to smooth out any large wrinkles or creases. Okay. How's that feel? Okay. Okay, go ahead and lay back, please. All right, I'm going to slip the... Position the restraint at his waist and not over his chest or abdomen. And go ahead and sit up one more time. There you go. Very good. Bring the ties of the restraint through the slots in the belt. Avoid cinching it too tightly. Go ahead and lay back, please. Help the patient lie down and get as comfortable as possible. Ask the patient to take a deep breath to assure there is no restriction to his breathing. Okay. Attach the restraint securely to the stationary part of the bed frame. Before you leave the patient, make sure he knows where the call light is located. Does that feel okay? Okay. All righty. I'm going to bring your side reel up. I'm going to go on the other side and do it as well, okay? Okay. An extremity restraint is a prescribed device made of foam padding that's applied to the wrist or ankle. To use this kind of restraint, wrap it around the limb with the soft part facing the skin. Use the Velcro straps to secure the wrist device. Make sure it is snug but not tight. To check the fit, make sure you can slip two fingers between the restraint and the patient's wrist or ankle. Then secure the strap through the D-ring. Use a quick release tie to secure the restraint to the stationary part of the bed frame. Restraints may also be attached to the frame of a chair or wheelchair, as long as the ties or buckles are out of the patient's reach. Okay, we got that. Charm, good. How's it feel? It's good. Okay. Alternately, you may have restraints with quick release buckles, both for securing at the wrist and at the bed frame. A thumbless mitten can be used to restrain the hands. If a mitten restraint has been prescribed for your patient, place his hand inside it and secure the Velcro straps. Make sure you wrap the straps around the wrist, not the forearm. Then check to see that two fingers slide easily beneath it. Occasionally, an elbow restraint is prescribed. This device is a rigid, padded fabric splint that immobilizes the elbow joint, but can be removed by the patient. Let's lift your head of your bed up. I'm Explain to, to the patient that you are going to apply the elbow device to help her stop picking at her IV line. Place the restraint around your patient's arm so that the elbow joint rests against the padded area. 
Keeping the elbow rigid, secure the splint with the Velcro straps. Check the fit of the restraint. How's that feel? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and clip it to your gown just to be safe. Then hook the clip at the upper end of the sleeve of the patient's gown. Restraints are secured with a quick release tie a buckle, or an adjustable locking device that works like a seatbelt. Do not tie the straps of a restraint into a knot. Okay, Mr. Jankowski, let me just check the straps. How does that feel? Okay. Good, good. Well, listen, Remove the restraints at least every two hours, or according to your agency's policy, and assess the patient each time. If he is combative or noncompliant, remove one restraint at a time, or ask another staff member to help you remove them. As always, perform hand hygiene when you're finished. Then make sure to record in the patient record the type of restraint, time applied, and the reason for restraint, according to agency policy.